What is up, Fire Finds fam, and welcome to Comic Book Haul number 12. Now, before I get started on the haul, I just want to quickly announce, well, not announce, but pick the winner for the Kylo Ren issue right here that features the first appearance of Avar Chris. We had a total of four who entered, so if you want to just skip through this, if you're not one of the four, you can. Here we have Symbioid Comics. He subscribed, commented, and entered in time. Here we have GL Blackest Knight. So we're going to put him in here too. I'm putting them in this bin, a little cup thing. Then we have Michael Heardert. Heard it. He's also in it. And then we have uh, Jay, Jay Strada. All right. So those are the four that entered for the giveaway. Here are the four. Now we're just going to shake it. And then I'm just going to pick one randomly. And that is the winner of this comic book. Now I'm not going to choose. So I'm just going to open it. And then put my head in here, pick one of these, and here it is, the, whoop, the one chosen, and it is Michael Hirt is the winner of this comic. Now, Michael, if you're watching this, please comment that you're ready for me to send you my email so we can get your information and send you this Kylo Ren issue. All right, now let us move on to the comic haul. And I will announce another giveaway at the end of the video. But before I start with the haul, let me just put this out. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't seen the latest WandaVision on Disney+. Plus. Spoiler alert. So, you guys have you guys saw it and you guys saw the post credit scene. You guys know who appears in it. And it is none other than White Vision. There we have his first appearance that I've shown in a previous video. I have one of the books. And I, when I saw it on Friday night, I was like, what? I have that comic where he appears and this is his first appearance. So yeah, you guys see him now. He is going to be in WandaVision. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But now let us begin with the comic haul. Here to our left, we have Die Number 1, graded at 9.8. And to our right, we have Paper Girls Number 1, also graded at 9.8. All right, now let us begin with the haul. And then I'll announce another giveaway at the end of the video. Here we have... Let's see, it's a good center. All right. Here we have New X-Men Academy X. Issue number eight. Now, this is nothing happened, nothing major, but it is just an homage to The Exorcist, as you just can see in the cover. And I'm a huge horror fan, so I had to get it. Also, everything I'm about to show you right now, I went on a dollar bin diving day. So all the books I found were a dollar. So that's a good thing. I just wanted to spend a whole day going to like dollar bins and Goodwill and stuff like that to find comics. That's what I did. So yeah, so this one, uh, like I said, is just an homage cover to The Exorcist, 1978 Exorcist movie. And I am a fan of horror, so this one goes for like five bucks. That's pretty much all on this comic. Now, moving on to the next one. Here we have Old Man Logan, number 31. Now, this is the first appearance of the Scarlet Samurai, which I, is, I believe it's her in the cover right there. And that is pretty nice. Him just caressing, I think, almost about to kill Logan. This one goes for about $10. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Fine for a dollar. Now, on to the next one. Here we have Invincible Iron Man, issue number two, the Riri Williams solo, the Riri Williams solo run, my bad. And this one is uh, going to be hot, maybe. Might even pick up because she's getting her own show. And uh, if you guys uh, have issue number three, it's where she uh, has her first Ironheart armor. So that's a good issue to also have. But this one, like I said, for a dollar, pretty nice, pretty nice. I already showed issue three in a previous comic video, so... That was good to find issue number two. Now here we have Miss Marvel issue number nine, the variant Deadpool variant one, which uh, is an homage covers to Secret Wars number four. Here you see Hulk holding up the, I guess the rock, trying to not, everybody, so everybody won't die, but you see Deadpool right there tickling Hulk. You know, Deadpool's a clown. So, you know, he's right there just tickling him. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This one goes for like $15. So pretty nice, pretty nice pickup. Now on to the next one. Here we have Miss Marvel issue number uh, 15. This is a variant edition based on how nice it looks. This is a really nice artwork on this. It looks pretty nice. I like how it looks very like almost belongs like in a, a mu art museum or like a hotel. So pretty cool. This one goes for like five or 10 bucks, but nice one. Nice one. Now on to the next one. Here we have Avengers, the Children's Crusade issue number one of nine. This is the Young Avengers run. Now, also going back to WandaVision, you know you can see um, Wiccan and Speed on the cover right there. Here's Wiccan. He 
Fierce Speed. And you know, they're the kids of WandaVision and they dress up for, in the, in the show, for oh, again, spoiler, in the show, they dress up as the the uh, uh, costumes they have on this cover. So that was pretty nice, you know, callback to them. This one goes for like $10, but because of WandaVision, you know, it's going to start to pick up and pick up. Now onto the next one. Here we have Green Lanterns, issue number 42. This is, uh, uh, just, it's just, it's just because Cruz is speculated to be the main person in the new Green Lantern show for HBO Max. This is, uh, goes for like $10. So maybe when that show comes out, it'll be cool. This one, uh, issue number 40 and 43 is the Lovers Run cover. So you see like them two, like, you know, like, I guess together in each of the covers, 40, 41, 42, 43. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice to own. It'll be pretty cool to own all four of them. So I'll definitely look out for those as well. Now on to this next one here we have Justice League issue number 32 and I also picked up issue number 33 but let's talk about 32 first. Now when th these are pulled from 2018. These are the metal tie-ins and you can see here um, Wonder Woman fighting Merciless and then Aquaman fighting the Drowned and on this one you see Cyborg fighting Murder Machine. Now these are uh, issue of I believe four. And they all connect, like, you know, together to form, like, a, a massive a pol uh, picture. So that's pretty cool if I could find the other two. But for now, I just found these two. Now, these go for, like, around uh, 15 bucks, But pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm just missing the other half now. So on the lookout for those as well. Now on to this next one. Aquaman, the New 52, issue number 19, which features the first appearance of King Nerus or Nereus. Again, my pronunciation of the words are not going to be exactly what the writers want them to be because I already got someone called me out in the previous one, but at least I'm close. So yeah, this is the first appearance of King uh, Nerus or Nereus. And this is, uh, it was hot, but now it's like $5. So maybe it'll pick up if they want to do something with this character in the films or TV show. So we'll see about that coming up. Now on to this next one. Here we have JSA issue number 81 from 2006. Now, nothing major happens in here, but this is just a very popular Stargirl and Stripes Alex Ross cover. And this goes for like around $10 or so. Pretty nice, pretty nice uh, buy for a dollar as all the books that I'm going to show are. Now on to this next one. Here we have Green Lantern versus Alien issue one of four. Now, I only got it because... You're never gonna see this again because it is Marvel and Aliens. I mean Marvel, uh, Green Lantern and Aliens. But now that Marvel acquired the rights to Aliens and I guess also Predator, uh, you're never gonna see these crossover again. You have a uh, Batman versus Aliens one two as well as the Superman versus Alien one two. Those are also their popular covers, but I've never seen one of these, so I had to take it, uh, especially for a dollar. And the prices, I don't know how much it goes for now, but like I said, I haven't seen one. I've seen the other ones, Batman and Superman, but I haven't seen any of these. So that's pretty cool to find. Now, these next books, guys, uh, there's like, I'm, I'm going to count. I think there's like eight or nine Archie comics. Now, I'll quickly talk about them as I put in one by one. So let us begin with this uh, uh, Cherry, Cheryl, oh no, Cherry, what the hell? Cheryl Blossom. Uh, now this one, not all these comics go for like 15 to $30, but I found them all for a dollar. Now, just quickly just go through them. Here we have another uh, Cherry Blossom, and then we have a Veronica one right there. Another Veronica one as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, if you guys see a pattern in these, please uh, call it out. But if not, I'll take it at the end when I finish these. Betty and Veronica also. If you guys find any of these, great pickups, especially for around retail, I mean, cover price or below. Pretty cool to have these. Another Betty and Veronica. And the and then followed by another Betty and Veronica. And then our final <laughs> Betty and Veronica. Now, this one is pretty funny to me because it says in the cover, how do you spell the flower Archie just gave me? Then she just responds, W-E-E-D. I don't got to see the word. You guys know what it is. But yeah, these are, if you guys didn't see the pattern, they're all swimsuit covers. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if there's a perv market out there. For me, it wasn't the reason why I bought them. But for a dollar, I wanted to get the whole set. These are kind of popular amongst the comic community so pretty cool especially this final one which goes for like around 50 dollars currently this one with the where she asked the question about the flower so it was a good good pickup on that one but yeah i found these all for a dollar so i just wanted to had to pick them all up you know add to the collection 
Now on to this next one. Here we have Spawn issue number 11. Nothing major happens. These are, these are a very high print one because they're the earlier spawns. But I just had to pick them up because I love spawns. So here's another uh, spawn issue number 53. Now these go for like 5 to $10. So not that much. But spawn, I love picking up spawn comics and adding them to my collection. Pretty good on that one. Now on to this next one. Here we have Sin City Sex and Violence. Now this one, it is nothing big happens, but just an amazing cover. The blood right here, you could actually feel it. So it like pops out of the uh, cover itself. So you can feel it. And it's just all black, but it adds in her dress, her hair, her eyes, her lips, uh, the blood. So it's a pretty dope cover. I just had to pick it up for myself. Now this one goes for like uh, 10 bucks, but I love the cover. It's pretty nice. Colors just pop right away. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now on to this next one. We here we have Ariella Rituals. Now this uh issue number one. It is um it's not her first appearance, not nothing major, but it is signed. If you can see in the bottom right there, it is signed. And in the back, it has a certificate of authenticity. It's Warrior Nun Ariella Rituals number one, signed by Ben Dunn. It's a uh, six 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 of seventy of seven hundred, so pretty nice devil number to have there. So I had, a, you know, who doesn't want to get a signed uh, comic, especially for a daughter? So this one, uh, the, I don't know how much this goes for, but like I said, it's signed, so I just had to pick it up. Now let's move on to the next one. Here we have Vampirella Countdown to the Second Coming. This is a the prototype edition. This is the Virgin variant, and it's limited to five hundred copies. Now this uh i don't know how much it uh how much it goes for but i just i've only seen one on ebay that they asked for 150. i don't know that's too much but it's a pretty nice cover i just had to uh pick it up and the cover the cover is by an artist named uh mark texeria texera i'm not sure what it is uh, don't hate on me for pronouncing the name but who knows I'm, i think this is going to be going in my personal collection because it just looks amazing and it is a prototype edition and it's a very and it's limited too so uh, who knows how much this would go for out there or if people that do have it are not going to sell it because like i said it's very very limited on that all right now let's move on to this the amazing spider-man issue number 314 this is just a nice christmas cover it's a mcfarling right there a mcfarling era cover when he used to do the covers and so it just goes for like 10 bucks but like i said you know the most wonderful holiday the most beautiful time of the year is christmas so had to pick that one up right there now on to another amazing spider-man issue number 359 uh no 359 which one was, did i mix them up no that was 314 my bad 314 this is 359 now this is the first cameo ad appearance of carnage of the carnage symbiote and this one i've shown before but this is just the first uh ad where he's at the end after the story this one just goes for like 10 bucks uh 15 to 20 bucks for this one so that's a pretty good pickup like, that I found for a dollar since I already have one. I had to get another one. And now here we have issue number 360, which is the first cameo appearance of Carnage in the story. So that's pretty good. You can see uh, Carnage symbiote taking over Cletus Cassidy. Uh, so that's a pretty nice uh, way of Carnage emerging into the, his uh, a cameo appearance in this. And this one goes for like $20. So pretty good pretty good find for that one now on to the next one here we have the spectacular spider-man issue number 139 now this aside from being an amazing cover the blue just pops out along with uh, tombstone right there it is the origin story of tombstone and this one goes for like 10 to 15 dollars so pretty nice pretty nice I, I i love this cover it's just nice pops out really good on that now on to the next one here we have the Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect, issue number one of two. This is the first appearance of Maestro. So that's pretty cool on that one. And then I also found with it part two of two, which features Maestro on the cover right there. And these go for like, I think you get the set. I think the set goes for like $30. So I would say 15 bucks each. But who doesn't want to complete, who doesn't want the full set? So that's pretty good on that one. Found a first appearance and the cover appearance of Maestro. Now here we have uh, Hulk issue number 
36. Now on this one, it is the, I want to quote this because I don't know for sure, first appearance of Yellow Hulk. And this one goes for like uh, $20. So pretty nice. And I happen to find not one, but two of these. So that's a pretty nice find. And you know, he looks dope right there. Yellow Hulk right there in the cover, just smashing what he normally always does. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now here we have Captain America issue number 396. Now this is the first appearance of the second Jack-O-Lantern. And this one, it, it goes for just like five bucks, not that much, but again, first appearance are good pickups. And this one, you just have Captain America with Jack-O-Lantern and back, back, black, I was going to say back, black wing right there. And I mean, you know, just a little side thing. I, he's giving you very Green Goblin vibes, you know, the green suit, the head, throwing little pumpkin balls, I guess. You know, very Green Goblin vibe right there. You guys didn't see that. And now let's move on to the next one. Here we have the new Avengers standoff. Uh, this is issue number nine. And this one, it is the first appearance of American Kaiju. This one was hot because... For some reason, I don't know what they wanted to do with this, but it was a hot bug. And this right now goes for like $20, but I happened to find two of them. So pretty cool. I think uh, American Kaiju is a very awesome looking like Godzilla type of you know, uh, dinosaur or monster. So pretty cool that I happened to find two of these. All right. And now let's move on to the last one. The one that I want to spend more time talking about. Here we have Ultimate Fallout issue number three. Now this one... You guys know issue number four already. Issue number four is the hottest book in the world. It is the first appearance of Miles Morales. And uh, this one goes This one goes for like $10. But let's talk a little bit about, about this one real quick. Let me open it first so I could tell you guys also. Now this one, you guys know, like I said, number four is the first appearance of Miles Morales. He is featured on the cover. Well, not his face though, until the second printing. Then they show his face on the cover. But right here at the end, I guess you want to say like an ad or something. You see the next issue with half of the cover of the of the issue number four so shouldn't this count as his cameo this is very similar like in the comic community is very different but in, like with jessica cruz you know how her cameo is just her hand in a uh, green lantern issue number 20 from 2013 it's just literally her hand so that's kind of a cameo same thing with wolverine his first appearance should have been in incredible hulk number 180 he has full lines and everything he's in full appearance there but it is not so it, it, it's very arguable, you know, but this, in my opinion, should be considered his first cameo since he is there, even though it's an ad. But, you know, it's amongst the fans to decide. But yeah, that's just a little backstory on that one. But issue number four, it goes for like $400 around their raw. So yeah, good luck if you guys ever find that one. All right, now please subscribe, like, and comment. But before I go, I would like to announce the other giveaway for uh, a comic book here we have gardens of the galaxy issue number 23 which is the first appearance of the symbiote planet now for this one if you would like to win this uh uh issue for free all you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel but again you have to go to your uh youtube on your desktop and go to youtube studio and under privacy take off the notifications i mean the subscription where it says you have to hide them to unhide them so i can see you guys are subscribed that way you, i know you guys are going to be entered and like this video and comment. Here's the comment for this one. If you want to win this uh, issue for free, comment rabbits. Rabbits. You know what Thor called um the uh what's I forgot his name. I'm getting a blank now. What Thor called um Rocket. There you go. Thor called Rocket in the in the movie when he, in Avengers Endgame when he first met him. He called it an event, an Endgame in Avengers Infinity War. When he first called him, uh, he saw he called him a rabbit. So on this one, comment rabbit. And like I said, subscribe. And for me to see it, you got to be, uh, your subscription's got to be public. Subscribe, like, and comment rabbit to enter to win this. The deadline for this one would be Monday at noon. So after that, I'm not going to enter no more people. I got a couple late ones for the previous giveaway. But on this one, Monday at noon is the deadline to enter. And then I will pick the winner on Tuesday for my next comic video and announce the winner for that one. All right, guys, there you go. Good luck on that. And I will see you guys on the next one.